Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Sephora and Ulta haul. This is my first haul of the year. I just recently did a huge declutter and I know you guys are probably like, why would you go buy more makeup? Because I have a problem. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is really, really cool. This is the Eilish or Eilish perfume. Is it called Eilish? I don't know. It's Billie Eilish's perfume. I believe it's called Eilish. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I have been wanting this since I saw it drop and I just haven't bought it because I, I blind buy perfume like <laughs> all of the time. And so I was like, you know what? It doesn't bother me if I don't like it because I really just wanted it for the actual like bottle itself. But I did open it and I did smell it and I do like it. So let me show you guys this. Oh, just, oh, it is so beautiful look at this come on this is probably the prettiest perfume i own like hands down the prettiest perfume i own it's absolutely beautiful and i love it and it comes off like this ah, that was really hard and then that's the spray itself i thought this came out because i hate having to pull this off because it's kind of hard to get it off but it's actually stuck in there it's not like inside of it however i I think it smells really, really good. I like it. It's like a warm smell. It's more of a warm scent. So a lot of this stuff was on sale. So that's why I kind of got it. This is the Urban Decay Prince um, like collab they did. This is the liquid highlighter. So I'm going to open this up. I just needed a new liquid highlighter because I just decluttered like all of my stuff. I have no more liquid highlighters, I don't think. Like none. So this is the container itself. How cute. Ooh, okay, I love this. I feel like this one could be like an all over situation and not just like a highlighter. Like I could put this all over my face under my foundation. So I like that a lot. And this is, it just says liquid and face. Oh, it is, it is for the face. So I lied, but I like that a lot. And that was also on sale for $16. It's an originally $32. So that's really good. It was half off. And then the perfume is 68 bucks. So it's really actually not bad. Okay, so the next thing I have is the, I think this is the Milani Skin Fetish. Yeah, so this is the Color Fetish Matte and this is in the shade Tease. I saw these on TikTok and I really, really, really wanted them and they're really inexpensive. This was like $8.99. So, and like, look how pretty this is. I wanna try it before I buy a bunch of them. All right, so I'm gonna try it on to see how it feels so first impressions i really like this color i would probably wear it with a darker lip liner just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more and me look a little bit like just one <laughs> one color here but it's really smooth it is matte but it doesn't look crunchy like it's a creamy matte actually i really really like this oh i'm gonna get more of these i really like this 8.99 thank you yes this was actually on one of my auntie hauls so do not judge me i wound up getting it i got the jaclyn cosmetics winter sun face palette i put this on my auntie haul list just because it was something that i just wasn't really into at the time and i have so many things that are similar to it but this was on sale for 22.80 and it's usually like almost 40 bucks so i had to grab it and i had been looking at it a couple different times and then just decided like okay I really do need that <laughs> I really do I can't um I will tell you now that I have this in my hand this feels really cheap um I hate saying that uh just because like who cares it's just the component but when you're paying almost $40 for a face palette you really want like good quality and this feels like it's really light it's really light please let it be pretty oh that is really pretty look at that Oh, you, so you get two highlighters. Oh, wow. Wow. And a blush. <gasps> that blush is so creamy. Is that supposed to be creamy? It's powder, but it feels really creamy. So, I mean, I guess we can totally get past the fact that this is cheap feeling because these feel so nice and I can't wait to swatch these on my hand. So we have, I'm assuming, Royal Icing. Avalanche and Snow Bunny is the blush. No. Royal Icing, Avalanche, Snow Bunny. I don't know. The names really don't matter. Oh, this is really pretty, actually. So I love the gold one. 
this one's a little bit light so what I would do is probably put that one oh actually that's not bad that's not as light as I thought that's really pretty and this blush is really really nice too and it's like cream to powder is what I'm feeling which is really nice I really like that actually I'm glad I bought it I'm really glad I bought it so this is thanks for the memories so this is the color I got look how pretty that is oh my god oh these are so nice all of the time oh, this actually looks just like the one from the Jacqueline palette <laughs> Look at that. It actually looks just like it. It kind of feels like it too. I won't lie to you guys. It's like a very creamy feeling. So this one is Growth Flirt. Another Are you fucking kidding me? Like this is why I stray away from ColourPop. I understand that they're inexpensive, but this is, this is insane. I hate that. So I have to be careful so it doesn't fall back out, but it's just another blush. But this is the reason I don't get these items from ColourPop because this happens to me more often than not. Like it happens to me with the Super Shock shadows. It happens to me with the other ones. I don't think they're pressing them very well. So it happens all of the time. This is the color. I love that. And I love a lot of their formula, but it's like... If your shit's gonna come to me broken, I don't fucking want it. Like, I'm not trying to be an ass, but it's my money. All right, so this is called Lunch Money. Please don't be broken. Oh, okay. So it's not broken, but I wanted to focus on it. If you look at the outsides, it's crumbling on the outside, so I have to be careful. But this is the color. So creamy. Listen, if they didn't have such a good formula, I would not be purchasing from this company ever again. I don't purchase from them very often just because of those situations. Oh my God. And again, that is lunch money. That is beautiful. And then the next one is Double Down and it's a Super Shock Cheek Highlighter too. Wait till you see this. I can see that it's jacked up. Wait till you see this shit. This is disgusting so I'm gonna wait till it focuses look at that it's not even pressed all the way at this point I don't think they give a shit I think that they know people are gonna buy it because it's cheap and they don't care this is disgusting they should not a company as big and as like known as color uh, no this is absolutely I don't care oh packaging shippy I don't care if it was pressed properly, this wouldn't happen. So now I'm like repressing it myself, which I should not have to do. Ugh, ColourPop. I think that ColourPop, hear me out, is not going to be around um, too much longer. I just think that they're running out of things to do and their product quality is starting to really be ass. So I do really love that color, so I will keep it just because it's such a very, so see how thick and shiny this one is where this one is kind of like a glossy shiny I love that because it looks so fresh and every time something like you wear something like that on top of your skin with no makeup your skin just looks so fresh but I'm really disappointed and do you guys have any issues with ColourPop stuff like am I the only one that's annoying so I got the thick it stick it NYX um brow mascara in the shade espresso and the reason I got this is because I also saw this on TikTok and it looked really, really good. So we'll see what it does to my brows. It, from what I saw, it looked really good on the, peoples that I, the people that I saw it on. But for the most part, they kind of had like nice brows. So this is what it looks like. And it's very inexpensive. Um, so I believe that this was like $11 though. So I got it free because I bought two other NYX products, but it is usually like 11 bucks. And for those ColourPop items, I forgot to tell you, the blushes were eight and the highlighters were four each. They were on, those were the ones on sale. We're gonna try this out, I guess. I'm gonna try it on camera, why not? I mean, I don't really look makeup ready, but we'll give it a go and I got espresso one of the darkest except for black is it supposed to touch my skin is it just supposed to touch the hair do you see a big difference <laughs> I'm not seeing a big difference I mean I feel like it definitely gives me that like fluffier look 
but I think that this is like a add-on to your eye stuff already. So like you would have to, since I don't have perfectly shaped and arched and full brows, I would have to do all that first and fill them in and then go in with this to give it that fuller effect. Like this is not just gonna work on someone like me with sparse brows. So first impressions, thoughts on the Thicket brow stuff. It definitely made them darker, but, and kind of look fuller essentially, cause they're darker. But I think that this would be something, like I said, that I would add into my brow routine more than just kind of replacing it with it. So the next things I have are also NYX. Okay, I think these have been out for quite a while and I'm just now seeing them on TikTok, but they are the Shine Loud lipsticks and these are apparently amazing so give me one second to take this lipstick off back to these things guys so it has a liquid lipstick which are these two it's the colors that you see on the tube and then a gloss that goes over it and these are basically transfer proof so i'm gonna do it with the brown which is i'm trying to give you guys the color so this one is called Boundary Pusher. It's a warm brown. And these were $11.50 each. So the applicator looks like this. It's really nice and it has that like little groove. So let's see. So you just uh, put it on. Duh. Oh, it's nice and creamy. Wow, this color is really pretty. From what I've heard, now you have to let it dry for like 90 seconds. First of all, this color is really stunning. <laughs> like this is really, really pretty. It is sticky. So we're just gonna wait for it to dry and then we will apply the glossy part. So I guess while it's, while it's drying, I will go through, I will tell you the other one I got. So the other one I got was doo -doo -doo -doo, on a mission. It is a blue red. So like this is red red, no warm undertones, all cool. It's my favorite type of red. So same concept, but it's just obviously a different color. So I'm just gonna swatch this one on my hands so you can see the color against my skin. So this is the color. Oh my God. Ooh, I love blue reds. You guys do not understand. I am like a huge fan of blue reds. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Please don't let it stay like that. Okay, so now you go on with the gloss, which is this side, and you just go over it. Oh. So once you put the gloss on, it's not sticky anymore. It was such a weird, like, sticky feeling. Like, I don't know. All right, here we go. This is supposed to be 100% transfer proof. So, nothing on my hand. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh my God. The only thing that transfers is the gloss. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the gloss one since I wiped it off. I absolutely love that I can wear, like, shiny and not have to worry about it transferring. If you are a lipstick lover and you wanna wear lipsticks, you have to wear masks all day at work, this. This is the NYX Shine Out Loud. So Shine Out Loud, that's what it's called, by NYX Cosmetics. This is 100% worth it. This is gonna be my go-to stuff. Like it feels nice, like it doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick is on my lips. And usually like, if you get that really like, stay put, no transfer situation, it's dry and like you can just keep glossing this up so it won't give you that like crumbly feeling like a liquid lipstick would. Oh my God, I'm gonna get every color they own. I know that sounds dramatic, but I'm going to. And the last thing from Ulta, yes, this is the last thing from Ulta and I'm not gonna be able to swatch this one on my lips because I just put like this freaking permanent tattoo ink on my face. So this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Flannel. This is her winter from her winter collection. And this one is a crushed berry, but it's in the shade Flannel. I have Bow and I really, really liked it. 
so I decided to get one more color. Oh, it's really pretty. It's a purple, but it is more pinky purple. It's kind of patchy right here, but that's not on my lips, so don't take that too serious, but I really love this color. It's really pretty. All right, so we're gonna move over to Sephora's box, which is not very many things, but it was a couple of things that are newer that I wanted that Ulta doesn't carry. So. so the first things I'm gonna show you guys are the new ABH products. So I got the new ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills, if you don't know, came out with new liners and new lipsticks. And obviously I will not be able to swatch those because I'm trying to see how long this lasts now. Mm, I probably should have done that later. Oh well, I'll show you guys on my hand. So I got a lip liner in Cherry. And it's my favorite kind of lip liner. It's a pencil, like a legitimate wooden pencil, not that plasticky stuff where the freaking liner itself slides in and out. I hate those. I hate those. And then I also got to match American Doll, the new lipstick. Can we just talk about the packaging for one second? This feels so luxe. Like, this is like metal, heavy, heavy metal. I love it. Oh my God. She's so pretty. Oh my God, so pretty. And it's so smooth. It's like a velvety, sweet. It reminds me of the Mario suede ones by the texture around the lipstick itself. So that is the lipstick. It has more of an orange warm tone than the lip liner, but these were the closest match that I could get from Sephora. So I don't think that they made them like a lip kit. I think that they made them just relatively close. So the next thing I got was another TikTok um, informational one. And this is the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. And this is in the shade Always Sunny. I actually have only tried her lip product. So I saw the person, one of the people like reviewing this and they say it's like really, really nice. So I thought I would give it a go. This is what the component looks like. And we're gonna just, it's supposed to be, oh my God. That went on like butter. Oh, okay. I'm blending it with my finger just to kind of, wow. Okay, I love this. Oh, I can't wait to use this. I'm so excited. I can't wait. And then the last but not least, this was the whole reason that I even did like a haul because I wanted to get this foundation. And this is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in Barcelona. This is all over the internet, all over YouTube, all over TikTok. This is supposed to be like all that in a bag of chips, this and the Charlotte Tilbury one. So I will be getting that one as well but I'm going to be doing a makeup video um, and makeup look with a lot of the new products. So this will be the foundation I use to let you guys know what I think about it. It'll probably be up sometime next week, so keep an eye on that. But this is supposed to be like medium to full coverage, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look, okay, here it goes. It improves skin radiance by 61%. It makes it more even skin tone by 93%. It is, does it say? I believe it's medium to full coverage, like it's buildable. It's not like a skin tint, but it's supposed to like, it's supposed to make your skin look really amazing. Like I've seen a lot of people try this and their skin quite literally looks absolutely amazing. So I was like, I need that in my life. And I really hope that it is good because this baby was expensive. Let me take a look here. This was $49. My husband is going to kill me one day. <laughs> he is literally just going to be like, you're out. Like, we're done here. So $49. Please pray for me that she is beautiful and works because I will be really sad if it does not work out for me. <laughs> but that is the last item, guys, that I have. I hope you really enjoyed this video and this haul. Let me know if you guys have bought anything new lately, any good sales, any of the new makeup that's been releasing. So I just need to know what I need to be buying. That's what I need to know. But I will see you guys on the next one. I love you. Have a great week. Bye.